Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Joe Gas here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to rotate three-dimensional objects in After Effects. I'm going to be using After Effects, CX, blah, After Effects CS4, <laughs> but you could probably use CS3. Yes, you could use CS3. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is rotating a 3D object, and your result should sort of look like this. It's a three-dimensional rotation like that and the reason why what inspired me to try to find out how to do this is because in videocopilot.net Andrew Kramer on his fancy title plate tutorial if you preview it he has a rotation but if you do it your but on the tutorial he doesn't tell you how to do the rotation I found out myself just by messing around a bunch of times on how to do it Okay, so what you're going to need is your project or whatever you're doing. This doesn't initially have to be the project. This is just an example. And hold on, let me turn these switches off. And right here, you're going to have to turn on the three-dimensional switches, which is the square, on every single thing you want to turn. So I'm going to turn mine on everything I want to turn because it's three dimension okay and you're gonna want to do the layer new camera and make a 35 millimeter camera I already have mine okay so when we take our orbit tool out by holding it down and selecting our orbit tool we can see that it's not three dimensional it's flat but it can move in three dimensional time so what we're going to have to do is drag each object forward. So my text, I'm going to move it right here. It's moving forward though. By holding the blue one, I can move my text forward. And I'll do that the same for every single layer. On my back, I'll move it up a little bit, not that much. And now if we rotate it, you can see there's some space, not too much space though. Um, let's keep on doing this. Title plate two. Move this one back, and then rotate this. See what we have so far. As you can see, we have three dimensions here. Now, what I'm gonna do is move wrong layer. Is move this back a little bit, maybe right there and now it's pretty much good there's three layers chopped up and that's all we need okay so what we're gonna start off doing is move your object or whatever to when you want it to start to flip using the orbit tool so I'm gonna have it start sort of at an angle right here Um, let me roll. Sorry about this, guys. So it's gonna be right here, and I'm gonna move shift and move everything to about here, including my text. I don't know why I forgot that. Hold down the shift key and move everything here. 
so it's sort of, so it's sort of at a corner. And now I'm going to go to our camera and click P. And there's our position. I'm going to want to put a keyframe right here and move um, to about right here and then change our orbit. So click on our orbit tool again and rotate it out and then select everything and move it to the middle again. So as you can see it went from there to here. So if we were just to slowly <clears throat> view what we've made we're rendering it. Now let's see what we just did. So that's pretty much it. What I also like to add is a motion blur to each of the layers so it sort of blurs when you render it. Now and maybe a little bit more time between each keyframe. Now render this again. And you could just mess around with what you're creating. And now if we view it, that's very nice. Um, so yeah, guys. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial on how to rotate three-dimensional objects in After Effects CS4. Same goes for CS3. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And... Have a nice day. Okay, guys. See ya.